So this is a Pomeranian that I'm going to be grooming today. And his coat is a little bit, well, impacted here. Impacted very, very tight. It's kind of a mess. So I'm going to see what I can do with him. The owner does want him trimmed, but not shaved. But now I'm looking at that. I don't know. But what I'm going to do first, come here, baby, turn around, is to give him a bath. <laughs> He's trying to jump in my arms. Is to give him a bath and I'll blow out that coat. So I'm hoping that it'll blow out and it can be brushed through uh, properly. And then I'm going to give him a trim. But it looks, that's, a, that's not too bad up here. Just the back end looks pretty tight and around here. So anyways, isn't he adorable? He's so cute. You're going to look so good when you're done. Hello. Are you shy? <laughs> you want his mama camera? We're in a bath? He's like, no. <laughs> So see what the velocity dryer did it actually basically like combed it out so sometimes you know inexperienced groomers will see um, all that impacted hair and it looks like mats and they would take the clippers and and shave that off and put a big ball spot there or shave the dog all over so with double coated dogs you're best off to wash them condition them you can brush them in the tub with the conditioner on and blow that hair out and that way it saves the dog from being shaved and look how nice uh, this brushes out he doesn't like to be brushed too much so he might uh, put up a fuss but basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brush him out he's got a very 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 thick coat and I have to be gentle because very sensitive it's very sensitive and I don't want him to be you know stressed out not like the you when you're okay I know once you're done you feel so good right yeah I'm not going to see he, he actually will kind of turn and sometimes like snap at me and I'm, I'm not really like pulling that hard I'm just going over the knots to, to break them up they're not really knots it's just um, tight and coat so I'm just gonna keep on brushing them. I have to brush them thoroughly and then put a comb through all that so that I can give them a proper trim. Right? You're fine. You're gonna be fine.
There we go. What a good boy. So he's all uh, pretty much combed out and brushed and ready for his trimming. I did his nails. He's got thick undercoat right here. It's hard to go through, but it's not knotted. So what I do first is I, well, I already cut the nails. I do have videos on nail trimming if you want to have a look. I'll put every link down below. But what I do first is I will trim the feet. So what I do is I lift up the foot and I trim all between the toes here. So any, any hair uh, sticking out of them. I make them flush to the pad. I don't, sh you know, shave them like I do other dogs. I just leave them flush like that. So I'll do all four feet. And then what I'll do is when I do the bottoms on the feet, I come here, baby, see, face this way. I will brush this hair up on the top foot. It doesn't have a lot of hair here. Let's just see if you'll go closer. And what I do is just tidy up the hair here on the foot, just to make the foot look nice and round and like a uh, cat paw. He doesn't like his paws being done, so he's all clenching his legs up. Are you clenching? Yeah. And then what I do as well, while I'm on the foot, no, no, no. I'm going to be trimming the furnishings here because they're going to get a trim all over. So since I already have this, you know, foot in my hand, I just kind of go up. I might adjust that after once I trim his whole body. But this is going to be shorter. Just like that. And then I'll fix it up after. All four feet are trimmed. The nails are trimmed. The top of the feet are trimmed. And what I do with the back leg here, um, they have fur on it. Hopefully you can see that doesn't have a lot of hair on there but what I do is I comb it up upwards you can see the fuzziness there and I just kind of cut I don't cut it too close to the skin because you'll make it look really thin there's a lot of uh, if you cut it it'll be like really thin so I like to make it look you know kind of plush and then I'm gonna go on to the body hopefully he'll cooperate so I've trimmed this dog before and usually after you trim um, a Pomeranian or any double coated dog like with the scissors or a guard comb, you can see where it's grown and it's a little bit more easier to trim on the second time around because you can just follow the outline of where you cut last time. And sometimes you can just see that clearly depending on how often the dog would come in. So right here I can see how it's thin here. I'm not sure if it shows that in the camera, but right here, this stuff here, and that's the length I had last time. You can see it. So what I'm going to do is just kind of trim all the little hairs that are sticking out. I try not to cut into the undercoat because once you start doing that, you can ruin the coat. It just doesn't grow um, back and uh, Pomeranians are prone to alopecia. It's where the hair um, doesn't grow back or it grows in patches. So it's best not to shave these dogs, but sometimes it might be necessary to shave one. And some dogs never get a problem, but some might get a problem. So I just use my scissors and just basically trimming like the longer ends. And then he'll look like a cute little plush puppy because his coat It'll grow and grow and grow, and it's very hard to maintain. Um, unless you're a groomer or, or show dog keeper and you know what you're doing with the coat, it's kind of hard for a pet owner to keep up with. So you know, we trim it to a nice length so that it can last a few months until the next uh, grooming. And back here, I like to create a V. And trim around the rectum of course so that nothing gets stuck there yeah, and I like to trim a little bit up the tail because as soon as they put that down or hold it sideways it's gonna get you know 
poop stuck on it. You stay there. And back here he has very, very thick undercoat, so I can comb and comb and comb and comb and there'll always be hair sticking out. So I just find, you know, you gotta stop at one point, otherwise I can be combing them for like 10 hours and still find hair that, that'll stick up. So you gotta stop somewhere. Come here, sweetie pie. Okay, so what I do as well, is I call this like silhouette trimming. Hopefully you can see that. If you just kind of comb the hair up, or sometimes it just naturally happens. You can see this, like, where you've cut before. Let's see if I can get him closer to the camera. And, uh, all this hair right here. But it's kind of hard to see. There. See all this fuzzy stuff here? That's the length that I had it last time. You can always like pick an order of how you groom the dog, you know, which area to start on and finish on. I have a bad habit of just clipping everywhere and going back and forth. Um, you know, some groomers will start at the rear here, at the back, work their way forward. Um, I just like to, you know, trim wherever I see. Just depends on what I'm doing and how I'm feeling that day. But hey, as long as the, the finished look is okay, you can kind of do what you like, but sometimes it is easier to have like a routine. But I did like to start on the feet and the legs and the rump and then work my way up. Now the hair on the back here, this hair is a different texture. It doesn't really stand up very much. So I'm kind of trying to make it stand up. And then I will just trim like the outline. You're such a good dog, aren't you? I don't want to talk too silly to him because he will just start jumping up, kissing me. He'll think he's done. See, he's getting excited because even when I talk, and I'm talking anyway, so he thinks I'm talking to him. But if I start talking silly, I know what will happen, right? <laughs> I'll show you at the end. I know you're cute. I know you're so cute. He's so cute. So basically, I'm just doing that again. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm just trimming the hair that has regrown basically the hair that has regrown and um, that way it's always the same length it's always the same groom same length you don't have to guess too much it's there for you it's showing you how much you grew and how much you need to cut and I wouldn't really go any shorter anyways because if I go any shorter I'll be cutting into the undercoat, which I don't want to do. And I don't really like using guard combs because I find it doesn't really go through that well because they do have an undercoat. And especially in this area, the comb just gets, it just gets stuck. Depends on the coat of the dog. Some Tom Pomeradians have a thinner coat and you can go right through it with a, with a comb attachment. But some, some don't like this little guy here. It wouldn't go through. It actually be it would be more work to go through his coat with a comb attachment. And this way, if you use the scissors, you can make any shape you want. Because if you use the comb attachment, it'll just be like one length all over. Like you wouldn't be able to create anything like here or up here. Could have to work with the scissors, but you don't want to work harder than you have to, right? And the doggy doesn't want to be groom longer than it needs to be but he kind of enjoys this I front I find the front end more harder to do than the rest of the body it's coming together nicely are you coming together nicely yeah that's more I'm taking more off the bottom here and around here all right, so let's just see. Let's just see. Let's just see. Hi. Okay, no, I'm not going to talk silly. Believe me, I give him lots of loving afterwards. Everybody says, oh, he should be, give him a kiss or, oh, say good boy. But I'm talking, I'm grooming the dog. 
Sometimes you don't even talk at all because the dog knows he's getting groomed, he's getting his work done. And when you're finished grooming, then you do all the praising, right? Sometimes if you talk to these dogs, they act differently. And some could be more difficult to groom. I have some dogs where I can't talk at all. If I talk, they go like bananas. They're ner they know they're there to get groomed and they're behaving. And they're being a good dog. Once it's over, they can go play. So now I'm just doing the same thing. Basically, I'm just creating a little, if you can see it, just a little chest here. Come here. And again, if I used a snap cone, that would be all flat. Okay. Just move the ears out of the way. You don't want to be cutting those off. Teddy bear. Don't they look like little teddy bears? Or little foxes or black bears? <laughs> I love Pomeranians. It's so adorable. Whoopsie. And it's best to always check your work, of course, by combing and combing and going around and around and around. Come on, let's see. How's he looking? Oh, you're so cute. That stuff in your eye, I gotta get a Kleenex. So I'm gonna go over him again, but generally he's holding his hair, his ears like flat. You make noise <laughs> and that way you can see what he looks like <laughs> lift your ears or you can put your hands behind here and lift them up because whenever you cut there they're just going to lay them flat and then you don't know what you're doing like they put their ears up and it's all uneven so if I can get their ears to go up and then uh, go in and get the hairs that you missed or that need to be <laughs> clipped And with his ears, what I do is just kind of fold them, trim them, and I trim the tips. Just the tips of the hair that's overgrowing, like the thick undercoat on the ears. And it makes them look a little neater, and it makes them look smaller and cuter. Okay, so what I do now is I just get the blower and kind of blow him gently. All right, now I'm just going to blow him. He won't like it, but I'm going to put on very low just to blow the thing away. Your tail's up. That's a good thing. Yay. And this way, when I blow it, some hairs that, yeah, that I miss will stick out. But you like it now. You didn't like it before. He's like, I'm almost done. That's why. I'm almost done. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. You're so cute. Well, we're not done yet, but we're getting there. <laughs> Look at him. This is like a model on the runway. Whee! <laughs> oh, you're tired. I'm tired of grooming you. Yeah. I'm gonna have a good nap after. Isn't that cute? He loved it. <laughs> so now I see some hairs that I miss. I'll go over that again. All right, so I just see some hairs that stuck up with the dryer. So I'm just going around them. No, no, no. You gotta stand up, honey. Just check here too. The tail, so the tail has to be trimmed. Go this way, baby. 
I can see where I trimmed last. So I just trimmed off basically just the ends here. This goes straight across like that. I comb everything down. Oh, no, you're gonna stand up. You stand up. And then I do what I call is a fan tail. You know, like a fan. And then I comb it from one side. Now I can see it's all on even. Right there's a big chunk. And then I'll do the same on the other side. Bring everything over to the side. Hold out the tail. Stay. Stay there. I think I got everything. He's looking good, so what I'll do is I'll kind of pick him up, hold his front legs. He's a very small dog. He can stand up like this without any problems, unless he doesn't want to. And just check everything under here and see if I see anything sticking out. Everything looks okay from here. Nope. See, then he got away. He got away, didn't you get away? And then what I do again is do the silhouette thing. I do the silhouette, so I hold them against like a darker wall or a lighter wall. Like my wall is dark over there. Well, he's dark too, but it's a different color, so I can see anything sticking out. Just trim them like the silhouette. Watch your little tongue. And then what I do is I get my thin and shears and I just kind of go over some areas, especially around the face and the ears. If I see any like sharp lines, the thin and shears are my best friend. They <laughs> can uh, fix your straight lines, blend anything in and um, just make it look nice and natural and stay there, honey. No, no, no. Doesn't like it around his ears. Nice and beautiful, soft, smooth and professional as well. I always finish my dogs with with this in and shares. Now I'm just gonna lift this up a bit and see what this looks like. It does lay flat but I find if I trim it it will look nicer when it's laying down. So there's a lot of hair sticking out there. And I don't know if everybody can see it, but anyways, I can see it. Maybe you can now. See all that hair? Well, that's what I'm going to cut, but he's moving around, so I don't know if I can. I'm just going to take my thinners and cut that. Have to be careful not to cut the ears, of course. They move them around. There, it's looking better. Let me see. Face the camera. Nobody can see you. Look over there. Over there. Over there. <laughs> no, there's still some sticking up. Okay, I'm just going to take my straight shears and get that quicker. Look at the camera. Look at the camera and show everybody how cute you are. Mm -hmm. So here he is. He's all done. He's like a plush little teddy bear. He's so cute. I didn't cut into the undercoat. He's got 
trimming all over his nails, his feet, the butt, the tail, the, everywhere. He's trimmed all over and he feels fantastic. He feels like a pillow. So that's, oh, you tired now? I need a rest too. Yes, I do. So um, if you want to see more grooming videos, I have a lot on my channel. I do have a playlist on the Pomeranian with along with other breeds. You can see all that down below in the description. And check out my Amazon store if you're looking for grooming products. I list them all on my Amazon store. He is gorgeous, isn't he? Let me just do the side view. He's so pretty. He hears noises over there. I know you like noises. And look at his little butt. Is that cute? So, <laughs> we will see you in the next video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any of my future videos. Say goodbye to everybody. Oh, are you giving me your paw? Your paw? What you doing? You want to lie down? What? You want to kiss me?